down over off of Walbrook and I'm looking at a very very old sycamore tree that's down in the creek and as you can see here the roots are um, <laughs> very exposed from years and years of washout and the homeowner here said that the water level was up about four feet on the, the trunk it was quite a bit up here just a few weeks ago uh, in December when we had that large rain They've turned off the water to the creek. They've, they've shut it all down, so there's nothing running in here right now. His concern is that the tree is moving. He has a, a laser measuring device that he puts up on a spot on the fence on his deck up in here, and he's got a point on the tree. And uh, over the last two months, he's noticed um, almost three inches of movement. Now, the tree has had significant weight reduction done to it over the last few years. Two years ago, uh, there was a large branch over here that was completely removed because it cracked and broke and fell into the neighboring uh, oak trees. So uh, that took off several tons of leverage. But because of the more recent um, exposure of, uh, of the root system from the water, it is very possible that uh, some of the washout has loosened things up. Now, there is quite a quite an opening. There's a significant cave up underneath this, this tree. I was actually able to climb down inside. It's about a oh, six foot by six foot deep uh, washout that's, that's way up behind this root system. There's a lot of loose dirt up in here, but I cannot see any areas that are, are really clearly more than erosion. I, couldn't, I cannot see any separations where the, the soil has, has pulled out. So it, it's, it's difficult to say what's going on. With all the additional water, it's very possible that this tree has uh, taken up a lot of water weight and that could be adding to the, uh, the, the change in the, the system. You can see there's a lot of decay up through this tree. And if you look straight up, you know, there's, you know, other than the wood weight here, the upper canopy is pretty much pulling back. So his concern, he's, he's not overly concerned about the deck. He doesn't want it to take out the, the single branch on this one oak tree. Um, but he doesn't want it to fail either. He loves the tree. So it's, it's actually quite, quite beautiful in here. And the, it feels like a cave. I'm completely underneath the tree right now. And there's that deep cave back there. It's actually about six feet wide and about four feet high, and it goes back in there about four or five feet. Um, I think it's been like this for a long time, and I think a lot of this is, is from erosion. You could tell that the water level was up this high and it was washing in up underneath this tree. To be honest with you, I'm truly amazed that this tree is able to stand on its own. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful old tree. And judging by the size of this curl, this tear out happened, oh my God, 50, 60, maybe 100 years ago. This has been like this for a really, really long time. And uh, you can see that there was, just weeks ago, there was water down in here. There was a significant pool. And sadly, uh, this pool was the, the last bastion for the, the fish in this particular creek. And we've got all these dead trout. I guess they're steelhead trout and something else. That's really sad. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful tree, unusual tree. That was stubbed off like that to give some area for some new suckers to grow out and it was, it was hollowed out. There was a beehive in there, that's right. We had to leave it at that point last year because there was an active beehive in there. So, what to do, what to do? On the positive side, nobody comes down here. So, it's not an, an active passageway for pedestrians or people to come visit. So in my opinion, I would have to say that if this tree were to fail, this point on the tree would end up on the bank right about here. And all that foliage would possibly, probably break that branch. But I don't think it would do much damage to the fence.
that's that's going to move out just a little bit so that will end up probably six feet off of the off of the fence level and, but because of the angle of the upper canopy that's going to come down and end up more or less straight up and down I'm not going to make the recommendation to remove this tree because the target is not a home or something too significant. However, I am going to make the recommendation to do some weight reduction on the heavy side, hopefully to counterbalance the tree to pull it back in. Thanks for taking the time to view this brief presentation. My name is Blair Glenn and I'm an ISA certified arborist.